So we bought the mini truck back in January. Yeah. And really all we've done to it is my wife's cleaned up and she's been using it quite a bit. And now it's about time to take care of a few issues it's got. One is almost all the tires lose air. Uh, these are like dirt bike tires right here. Um, got a busted off stud and missing a lug nut right there. Get that taken care of. Um, the tires all lose air. They're all too skinny. It gets stuck everywhere you go in the yard. It's only two-wheel drive. So what we're going to do is change the tires out. And we're probably going to take, because we're going to go with a bigger tire, um, we're going to have to lose those mud flap fender deals and the same thing up here. So we'll have to take those off. And, uh, yeah, it's probably going to require some changes. We're going to have to lift it a little bit because I don't think the tires are going to clear in the front and the back and still turn. Because once you close this, I don't know. We might. It'll be close. I don't know. We'll have to see. But as you can see, she uses it quite often. Uh, we don't have cats, but somebody we know gets them buckets because they have cats and they give them to us to use. But, uh, Anyways, it's time to get it in the shop and do a little work to it. She'd like uh, a couple things. What would you like inside? Fans? Because it's hot. And the window fixed over here. So the driver's window doesn't go up and down. Uh, something's wrong with the track. And uh, I want to tint the windows. I want this to be limo tint because it is hot as the blaze is coming in. I'd like to tint the side windows. And I think we should tint the front too. About like this. Something like that. Because we're going to have to eliminate the the visor here because um, I don't think we're gonna have room for fans the fans are gonna be like right in your face unless I mount them to the plastic dash which I really don't want to do she'd like me to mount them in here and then face this way fans are just so big well big in this very little thing if you haven't seen it before it was pretty filthy when we got it but she has got it all cleaned up and looking pretty good so now it's my turn she's gonna attempt to do a little upholstery work here um see if she can redo this it was uh that size in pretty decent shape but this side just got torn off we have some gray vinyl like this but it's much thicker and she's not sure it's gonna work but we'll give it a shot she might even try and redo the seats I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But let's get in the shop and uh, get after it. See what we can do with it. All right, I got it out. Flipped it around. Got some RTV on it. First thing is it's going to be on the bottom so it won't ever have to get started again because it'll always come past it because it's torn the opposite direction. So, uh, that being said, we should be able to put that in whenever it sets up. Well, we may have only just found effects for the cause that's part of the regulator right there that's supposed to roll on the window channel and it's not so we're we'll gonna take that all apart it's not gonna be a treat to get out since it's bent Let's see if I can bend it back a little bit make it easier without breaking the glass I'm sure that won't be easy to find that clip and I know it's gonna happen okay. yeah, it's bound up in there somehow well I tried to bend that back in there but you can see how bent up that is so we're gonna have to do a little straightening and find out why why did it do that to find out there's probably a track there's got to be a track down here somewhere it rides on and what i found is this is a window track and the guide up here is ripped and folded over so the window is going in here instead of in between it like it should so what I'm going to do, because I don't think that's going to be something I can get at the glass supply place, I'm going to pull that out and flip it upside down. Put that part, the damaged part at the bottom, use some RTV and see if I can get it to hold it in place. 
I don't know. We'll see. All right, I got to put it in a bench vise and I twisted it with a crescent wrench and I flattened it out with a hammer. I think it's going to be all right. But uh, since I'm going to be waiting on a little bit, I went in and took the, took the headrest out because I'm going to start with this back window, see if I can tint it. As much as it pained me to do this, I didn't want to wait to order tint, so I went to Walmart and picked up this. This is 20%, 20%, and 5%. I'm going to be using the 20% on on the windows, on the, the sides, and the 5% on the back glass, I think. From what I'm told, I think you have to have 35% light coming through to be you know, legal on the road, on the front. Anything from the front, front doors forward. Um, I don't think you can... I'm not sure what you can do on the windshield. Don't care. It doesn't matter. We don't drive this on the road, just our own property. But, uh, so I picked this stuff up and I, I figured I, I have, we're going to see how, I've never done this before. So I'm going to see if I can do this and how it turns out and what better thing to do it on than a mini truck that just doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to give it a shot, see what we can do. And, uh, fingers crossed it, uh, <laughs> it works okay. We'll see. So the first thing I'd do is find out which side had the uh, clear backer on it, because that's the side I want to work with. And uh, I want that facing me. So once I found that, because it was on the top, then I was able to just uh, put, lay it down and cut it kind of roughly to the size. The next thing I have to do is this is concave this way and a little bit this way. So I'm probably going to have to heat this to shrink it. I'm not sure and see if I can, um, I don't know, see if I can make this work. I want this to come down below where the actual seal is, so it's down underneath it. So I have to, I have to be very careful, get it positioned the way I want it and cut it and see if we can get it shrunk. I guess I should shrink it first, then cut it, make sure I'm not too short. So I've worked some of the water out, and as you can see, I've got these wrinkles here and that's what i got to work on shrinking so i'm gonna grab a heat gun and start to shrink this up a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and cut my excess off here so that i'm not working up against this well i'm not seeing any bunching There's something in that. That's dirt. That is dirt. Look at that. Nope, it ain't moving. There's the first one done. We got some dirt in it. That's uh, why we start with the mini truck. It's a work truck. It'll be fine. It's amazing when we start looking. Look, uh oh, there's still water in there. We'll see what it looks like after all the water dries out. We'll put it in the heat of the day. Well, I didn't film a whole lot of this because I've never done it before. And I have I was struggling with some of it. But I got the two windows done. I went ahead and took the other window out too because we're going to be redoing that upholstery on that door. So I had to take it off anyways. Just a few more minutes to get that out. Um, so the two side windows are done. I did the rear window. These are all 25%. So they let 25% of the light through. And I am going to do the, the front windshield. We're going to do like a... A brow across here. I was took two pieces we had that was left over and just put them up here for reference as to how far we're going to come down. But I don't have enough material. Um, I scrapped the first window. I took it back off. Uh, I had a bunch of dirt in it and I just I didn't like it, so I took it off and it went right there. And uh, I tried it again. All in all, 
uh, kind of an enjoyable process, I guess. Um, note, I'm using uh, these Stanley razor blades, and I think I'd, I'd use something better. Those just don't seem to be quite sharp enough. Um, they cut the stuff okay, but you really got to be uh, on your game, that's for sure. But it turned out okay. I'll show you the other two. So here they are. This is the second one I did. It turned out better than the first. Um, this is the one that I did first and I wasn't happy with it, so we scrapped it and started over. But uh, a few little imperfections I'm not happy with. I'm going to touch up this cut right here once it dries real good. Um, I didn't want to get too close or too far away, so I just decided to hold off and wait. But I'm just going to let them bake, bake in the sun for a day and then. Uh, We'll put them back in the truck. Alright. So, this obviously doesn't go on the outside. I'm just putting it on and making my cuts so it fits well inside. See I got a little long here. It's a little bit long. <clears throat> yeah it's definitely easier to reach it on the outside than inside. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, a few wrinkles up here, but uh, a little bit wide here. I probably should have brought the light over. Because seeing these corners is pretty tough. I think we got it. I think we're ready. I got. A few wrinkles up here, but I'm um, thinking these might might come out. Yeah, I believe they will. Okay. Um, you think that's too low? You think it's okay? I don't know. You sit in there and see. You're taller than me. <clears throat> okay. I mean, proportionately, it'd be nicer if it was up higher, but... I mean, you can still see through it. So. Uh -oh. oh no! You cut it. Yep. Oops. Yeah. Oh well. We got to split the film and spray down the inside. We've already cleaned the windshield, <clears throat> so let's start with splitting this. That's always so much fun. Do you need my help now? Yep. Okay. So, lesson learned when you're doing tent. Clean up in here as best you can because you end up getting dirt. When you push up this way to get the water out, it takes up, puts water up here where it's dirty. I mean, this thing's been used for, uh, with the windows open, you know, whatever. It's fine. I think it looks a ton better with tinted windows. What an improvement. It'd be better if somebody was better at tinting windows, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. I'll just be happy to not be roasting. And that window goes up and down now. That's a huge improvement. We didn't have that before. So now that that's all done, um, my wife's washing the inside felt trim so it's clean when it goes against the window trim, the window film. Yeah. That looks pretty good. You can still see through it. Kinda. I think you should like it. Looks much better. 